In this video, we will discuss Paget's disease of nipple, which is an important condition of breast. We will learn what it is, what is its clinical presentation, how we make the diagnosis, and what is its morphology. And lastly, we will see its prognosis. So let's start. What it is? So Paget's disease of nipple is a condition in which the malignant cells of ductal carcinoma in C2 extend into the nipple skin without invading the basement membrane. So see this diagram. You know that we have read that ductal carcinoma in C2 arises from the terminal ducts and lobules. So this is the terminal duct and lobule and these red colored cells represent ductal carcinoma in C2. So what happens in Paget's disease of nipple is that these malignant cells extend from this lobule and terminal duct crossing the lumen of these ducts into the skin of the nipple. And you can see these malignant cells of ductal carcinoma in C2 are getting incorporated into the skin of the nipple. So this is the condition that we call Paget's disease of nipple. Malignant cells of ductal carcinoma in C2, this extend into the nipple skin without invading the basement membrane. The important point is without invading the basement membrane. You can see that the malignant cells shown in this diagram do not cross the basement membrane. Rather, they extend through the lumens of the ducts into the nipple and into the skin of the nipple. So this is Paget's disease of nipple. Now how does it clinically present? So it clinically presents as erythematous eruption on a nipple with a scaly crust. So this is breast and this is nipple. You can see the nipple is erythematous or red colored. So you see erythematous eruption on the nipple and sometimes there is a scaly crust on the nipple. And often at times it is associated with pruritus. Pruritus means itching. So this red colored lien on the nipple may cause itching. And in this way, this important disease, Paget's disease of nipple, resembles eczema, eczema of the skin. And this is very important differentiation. So how do you differentiate between Paget's disease of nipple and eczema? One logical point is that eczema is usually bilateral involving the skin of both nipples, skin of both breasts. But the Paget's disease of nipple is usually unilateral. But this is not a very striking or diagnostic difference. The main differentiation would be done on our diagnostic test, on our biopsy or on cytology. We will discuss it later. Sometimes the Paget's disease of nipple presents as discharge. So these cells may cause some discharge of secretions into the nipple. Now the important point to understand is that 50% of the cases of Paget's disease of nipple are associated with palpable mass that may be invasive carcinoma. So in 50% of the patients who present with Paget's disease of nipple, if you examine the breast carefully or you do diagnostic tests, there may be a palpable mass and if there is a palpable mass, it usually indicates invasive carcinoma. Remember that Paget's disease of nipple does not always mean invasive carcinoma. Sometimes it can be simply ductal carcinoma in C2 which is a precancerous lien. But in 50% of the cases, if there is a palpable mass, that it may indicate that underlying this, there is an invasive carcinoma. Now let's discuss about the diagnosis and morphology. So you do the cytology of the secretions. We discussed that these Paget's disease of nipple sometimes cause discharge of secretions. If you take a sample of this secretion and see it under microscope, then you will be able to see the cells. So cytology of this exudate show Paget cells. And if you are doing nipple biopsy, taking a piece of tissue from the nipple, it will show Paget cells. So Paget cells in the skin is the hallmark of the diagnostic morphology of Paget's disease of nipple. Now, how do the Paget cells look like? Paget cells are large atypical cells. They are large and atypical with pale cytoplasm and prominent nucleoli. And they extend into the skin of nipple without invading basement membrane. So what you will see on microscope on the biopsy specimen of the nipple, of course, on the nipple you will see skin, but inside the cells of the skin, you will see these paget cells incorporating into the skin of skin. How will these paget cells differ from the cells of skin? They will be large in size. They will have pale cytoplasm and they will have prominent nucleoli. So this is what paget cells look like and they extend into the skin of nipple without invading basement membrane. Now what is the prognosis if one is diagnosed with Paget's disease of nipple? The prognosis depends on the features of underlying carcinoma. What does it mean? It means that if a patient presents with Paget's disease, 
then there may be a palpable mass behind the nipple in the breast and it is actually the characteristic of the underlying ductal carcinoma in C2 or underlying invasive carcinoma if there is a mass that determines the actual prognosis. So remember, let me rephrase it. That Pager's disease of nipple is actually a manifestation, a rare manifestation of underlying ductal carcinoma in C2 or sometimes there may be an underlying full-blown invasive carcinoma as well. So the prognosis depends upon the stage and morphology of that. So the prognosis of Pager's disease of nipple varies according to the underlying carcinoma, whether it is carcinoma in C2 or invasive carcinoma. So this is all about Pager's disease of nipple.